Well, hey there, Shady Oaks family. This is Pastor Jay. Just want to give you a quick update about uh, the mediation process today. Uh, just want you to know that it didn't really go as great as I'd hoped it would go, but I still know that God is sovereign. I still know that God is in control and that he is already working things out for us to get a new roof. And I'll get to that in a moment. But let me tell you about the process for today. Um, over the last several weeks, you've heard the number of $1.3 million it's going to take for us to get a new roof. Well, that $1.3 million has a lot of things built into it that aren't necessarily something the insurance company's going to pay for, like 11 new air conditioners uh, and a whole lot of different things that are involved in that. Um, and so that $1.3 million is really a pipe dream because to get that amount, we would have to sue the insurance company for a whole lot more money than they were willing to give us. And uh, that really wasn't the best course of action. And I'll get to that in a few moments. But to catch you up, in summer of 2020, uh, the state arbitrator, the state umpire, ruled in our favor for a $592,000 settlement or judgment um, that the insurance company was supposed to pay us for the roof. He put in his judgment, however, per code requirement, which allowed the insurance company to take a loophole and only paid us $72,000 instead of $592,000. And so that $72,000 minus uh, fr taken away from the $592,000 leaves us $520,000. And so today, in a best case scenario, through the mediation process, the best we could have walked away today was with $520,000. But guys, the insurance company has put their, their, their feet in a little bit more in this process, and they've actually, from this whole process, decided to deny our claim. And they've decided to deny our claim because we took over seven years to file the claim. Uh, the storm that took place was in April of 2011. The uh, file that we claimed with the insurance company was placed in uh, September of 2018. So over seven years. And in the policy, it states that we're supposed to file claims in a prompt manner. And over seven years is kind of out of that window. And so the insurance company was coming to the table with the idea that they were going to take this bit of information, take it before a judge as a summary judgment, and basically make this be the whole thing of the case. That if if we took too long to file, then the case could be thrown out and we could get nothing. And through talking through uh, the mediator, talking with our lawyer, we really discovered that um, that's a really big hurdle for us to get over. Yes, there, there's a nice reward if we go through the process and find the insurance company to be at fault and all these things, but there's also the chance we could walk away with nothing. And, uh, and so we began to go through the process and to really show you how difficult they were being in the process here today, they came to the table with their first offer of $50,000. Guys, don't be mad at them. Don't be crazy about it. Know that the Lord has been through this situation and, go, and is going before us. And so we went back and forth on some numbers and, uh, and the 520 number was really that highest we could get. And, and we were able to, to walk away today with $375,000. And before you freak out, before you go, oh my gosh, that's nowhere near enough, let me just tell you about how God has already been working things out. And that is, we've been talking with our roofing company about the various levels this arbitration process, excuse me, mediation process could come in at. And we had some different tiers that we could work with. And one of those tiers is for $650,000 for us to get a new roof in our church that doesn't have all the bells and whistles, but has definitely a 40 to 50 year life and takes care of any leaking that we would have on the roof. Well, $375,000 settlement we received today, plus some things the Budget and Finance Committee is doing where they've already approved part of the 2022 budget, the use of the extra money left from our loan that we took out to do the five major projects and some cash on hand to take $300,000 and add that to our settlement to give us over the $650,000 that it would take to get an, uh, the roof uh, fixed on our, and, 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 and no more leaking uh, on, our, on our church. And so we don't have to carry any more extra money. We don't have to, to bring more debt to the table. We don't have to ask for more loans, anything like that. We can have our roof repaired and a new roof all over the whole uh, church for $650,000. And so Richard and Gary Colson and I are going to be meeting with the insurance company on uh, on Monday to kind of, not the insurance company, the roofing company to really uh, kind of fine tune this and what this all looks like and how this can work out. And so guys, uh, even though this didn't go like we had hoped and planned and have all this money, uh, the Lord has already worked it out to where we have just enough what's necessary to be able to get the roof and to move this situation behind us. 
And so guys, uh, again, uh, I'm available for questions. Richard's available for questions. If you want to talk about this, I'd love to. But please know that I am at peace, that where we are, and, 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 and believing that the Lord is in this and that he's brought us through this situation and he's given us just enough that we need to get through this. And so uh, there's all kinds of anger. There's all kinds of frustration. I'm sure many of you have in this, but please know that uh, we, we, we're going to be fine. We have the money that we can offset to pay for the roof and not have to put any more debt burden on us for 2022. And, uh, and just know that we had planned already to take this $300,000 and add it to the settlement, whatever the case may be. And so if we had to, we did it. Um, and so that's what we're going to do. So again, uh, not the most ideal situation, but guess what? God is in control. He's still sovereign over all things. And we're going to get a new roof on our church. So praise God for that. And again, uh, love you guys. And again, have any questions, reach out to me. I'll be glad to talk to you further about this. But I think I've said about everything that I know about it. And, uh, and Richard has, has pretty much the same story I do. But, but please know that, uh, that this is something that uh, we're going to continue to pray through and continue to make the best decision and know that the Lord is in it. And we're so grateful for his hand and his guidance today in this process. And so guys, uh, love you guys. And I'll see you on Sunday.